Hi guys! So I have another book haul. Um, honestly, I think I thrift books as part of my therapy. And that's, that's not being facetious, I think it actually is. Um, yeah, so anyway. Let's dive into this stack of books that I have thrifted in the last few weeks. Um, I don't remember. All right. All right, I got Portal <laughs> Port Royal by Linda Chaikin. And this one caught my eye because um well, I just I just think these cheesy covers are awesome. But it's the author of Silk, and I hauled that a couple of years ago and it's on my TBR shelf, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. So, providing I like that book, cross your fingers. Uh, this is by the same author. I haven't looked through these books in a while, so I don't know <laughs> what kind of order they're in. They're in no order, is, is the order. Um, oh, I got The Idiot by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Tiffany at Beautiful Minutia has talked about this book in particular, I think. Yes. Um, but she's talked about other thick chunky classics before and so when I saw this one I was like hmm maybe I should give it a try. I I did like um, The Count of Monte Cristo and that one was a, a chunker of a classic so who knows. Um, okay I got two graphic novels book six and book seven of the Amulet series. I have not read this series but um, yeah, willing to give it a try, especially when I see the books at the thrift store and they're in really good shape. So, and then I found The Extremely Inconvenient Adventures of Bronte and Metalstone by Jacqueline Moriarty. This one is highly recommended on Jade's channel, JD Ray Reads. And this is actually an arc, which is interesting, but um, yeah, she loves this book. So, when I saw this at the thrift store, I was first shocked. But um, yeah, really looking forward to this. Oh, that's funny. So it is an arc, as you can see, there's a blank spot that says insert art. <laughs> so uh, the finished copy would have art there. Anyway, looking forward to that. The Wholehearted Wife, 10 Keys to a More Loving Relationship by Aaron, Greg, and Gary Smalley. And I think I have read, I have read a couple, whoops. Look at this. So I think, oh, this is a cute little bookmark. No. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, um, I think I've read something by Smalley. Did he write? No, that's Chapman. I don't know. I'm sure I have. But anyway, I always love a good Christian nonfiction marriage book. Um, ah, another one. Things I Wish I'd Known Before We Got Married, Gary Chapman. I really uh, respect Gary Chapman, so looking forward to getting that one. They look similar, those two books. After God's Heart, a Bible study for women on loving and obeying God from 1 Samuel by Myrna Alexander. Uh, yeah, nobody's written in this study, so that one sounds good. Oh. Cry from the Mountain. I feel like this book, like it says um, special movie edition. I feel like this book or the movie came out when I was a kid and it was a big deal, I think. So I want to read this book and then rewatch the movie. I can find the movie somewhere. In the Company of Cheerful Ladies. This is another Alexander McCall Smith. Um, a part of the number one Ladies Detective Agency series, so still haven't tried that series yet, but looking forward to it. I found The Spice King, which is a somewhat uh, recent release. When it was first released, uh, I really wanted to read it and I just never did, and then now I found it at the thrift store, so of course I'm going to grab it up. This one is Christian historical fiction, I believe, or, or historical romance, historical fiction. So yeah, I think that one should be good. I know Lou has read this one, and I think she liked it. So uh, there's that. And 
one, I've got Once Upon a Prince by Rochelle Hawk, the Royal Wedding series. I'm iffy on romance, like when it's really romance heavy, just because I feel like, but um, my husband bought me a book one year for my birthday many years ago, and it was a R Rachel Hawk. So, I don't know, maybe I'll give it a try, maybe I'll put it in the cystic fibrosis book sale. That's what's gonna be a little, it's kind of made me a little bit more open and free to pick up books now because if I don't like it, I'll just put it in the sale. So, that's handy. Um, I found these two by Thomas Locke, Flashpoint and Trial Run. They are part of a series. I don't know if there's more. I've never read Thomas Locke, but they look kind of interesting. So, I found Against the Tide, The Valor of Margaret Wilson, Chosen Daughters by Hope Irvin, Irvin Martz, Marston. Marston. I think this is a true story. Is that, is that what I read? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. For some reason I thought this might have been based on a true story, but now I'm unsure, so. Then I've got A Prisoner of Versailles by Golden Keys of Parsons. Their first name is Golden? That's cool. Um, a darkness to light novel. So that one sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm slowly collecting these books from the Circle series by Ted Decker. I have never read any of them, but there's another one. And then I found The Priest's Graveyard, which I've actually never heard of this book, but it's also by Ted Decker, so picked it up. The Holy Wild by Mark Buchanan, trusting in the character of God. I, I feel like I've heard something about Mark Buchanan, but I don't remember what that was. So I guess we'll just try it. Um, Godric by Frederick. I don't know. Um, this is a classic, right? I feel like this, I don't know. Guys, I don't even know. It's not that old though, it's only 1980. Oh no, 1926? I have no idea. Um, Fatherless by Dr. James Dobson and Kurt Brunner. I didn't know that James Dobson wrote fiction, so I'm kind of really interested in reading this one. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I've never owned a Frankenstein copy before, so now I do. I found another edition of The Pilgrim's Progress by C.S. Lewis, so the one that I have is like literally falling apart. The pages are like falling apart. So that one would be easier to read. The Dark Unwinding by Sharon Cameron. So there was something about this one that looked intriguing. Well, obviously the cover looks cool, but um, I'm not really sure. That's a common theme. Thrice the Brinded Cat Hath Mewed. Well, I thought the, the title was hilarious. So, it's a Flavia de, Lu, de, Lu, de Luce mystery by Alan Bradley, um, author of The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie, which I know that Chantelle likes that series. So, based on that and the clever, I don't know what's clever, it's just funny, title, um, went with that. Oh, Poems for Meditation. I. I really want to try and get my hands on more Christian poetry. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little verse bookmark thing. Um, yeah, I really want to find some more Christian poetry and hopefully this is a winner. The one day when I was at the thrift store they had that box sale again. So it was $2 for a box of books. Um, and there were five Denise Hunter books. I have never read a Denise Hunter book, but I'm totally open to giving it, giving it a try. So these are them. Let me know if you have read Denise Hunter, if you've read these books, which one is the best out of these ones? And then I'll try that one first. And this one, I know it's got a really old cover, but that doesn't bother me. Don't just stand there, pray something. I really like that title. 
um, and I really want to read more and learn more about prayer. So I uh, picked this one up. And then there is For the Love by Jen Hatmaker. I've heard of Jen Hatmaker, but I've never read any of her books before. And yeah, we're going to give that a try for sure. I've heard great things about Radical by David Platt. So finally, I was able to find it at the thrift store. There is A Love Worth Giving, Living in the Overflow of God's Love by Max Licato. Which I'm excited about that one. Um, Faithfully Fit, a 40-day devotional plan to end the yo-yo lifestyle of chronic dieting. I'm really interested to see if this will help me at all. I am definitely a cereal dieter, so we'll try. Keep it shut. What to say, how to say it, and when to say nothing at all by Karen Eamon. Uh, the tagline sounded good, so give that one a try. Okay, Anything by Jenny Allen. Uh, a number of years ago, Chantel borrowed me her copy, and I absolutely loved it, so I bought one for myself. It is one of my favorite nonfiction books, and so when I saw this at the thrift store, I was like, I can't just leave it there. I don't need another copy, but I might rude. I might um, gift this to somebody who I feel needs it, um, or I might in, uh, just put it into the CF sale. We'll see. Let me know if you've read that book, because that one is really good. I highly recommend it. Um, I found, this was a pretty sweet find, guys. Discerning the Voice of God by Priscilla Shire. I love Priscilla Shire, and this is a series that I've been really wanting to get to for ages but I just haven't got my hands on it. And it came with, um, not with, but there's also the DVD series. So yeah, this was a dollar for the discs and a dollar for the book. So like, that's, that's amazing. Um, so I'm very excited to get to that thrift. I mean, thrift. Bible study, wow. What else have we got here? Trackers, The Birthright Project, book two. So I'll have to find book one somewhere, but it is a Thomas Nelson juvenile fiction, so, and it's fantasy. In a ravaged world far from home, the birthrighters struggle for survival. So I don't really know, but if it's fantasy written by a Christian author, I'm sort of sold already just by that. Um, this one, I really like the title of this one too, and it's a old <laughs> cover. The Tender Commandments, Reflections on the Father's Love by Ron Mill. Uh, yeah, that just, it kind of got me. The Tender Commandments, and I want to know where he goes with that, so. There's that. What else? I think the rest, well, there's, there's Song of the Lion by Anne Hillerman. I've never read any Anne Hillerman, but there's a different book by her in this same series that has been on my TBR for a while. I heard it from somebody's booktube channel and it made me put it on my list. So then when I saw this book by her, it's a different book, but it's by Anne Hillerman and it's in the same series, uh, I definitely picked it up. This one I thought was really interesting. So, okay. Goddess Tide by Anne Elizabeth Stengel from the acclaimed winner of the 2012 Christie Award. It's by Rugelwood Press, which I've never heard of, but the Christie Award is a Christian award. Whatever. Um, it looks really good, actually. And it's like a, I don't know, would that be like an indie author? Ooh, USA Today says fans of Tolkien and the darker tales of fairy will be drawn into Stengel's eff effusive prose and wonderfully scary worlds. Oh guys, so something about this. I don't know what, but I'm interested. Okay, then we've got, ooh, that cover has like some different finish on it. Um, the Deadly Curse of Toko Ray and the Secret of the Desert Stone by Frank E. Peretti. I've never heard of either of these books, but it's Frank Freddy, so 
Then we've got Tangled Webs by Irene Hannon. I want to try some Irene Hannon, so there's that. Burn by Ted Decker and Aaron Healy. The one book I read by Aaron Healy I totally did not like, but I do like Ted Decker, so I guess we'll see what this one's like. The Witness by Dee Henderson. I used to love Dee Henderson as a teenager, and I do still love one of her books. So we'll see how The Witness goes. There is Tomorrow We Die by Sean Grady. I thought I had already found this one and hauled it um, maybe a year ago or so, but I couldn't find it on my Goodreads owned shelf. So either I didn't put it on my Goodreads shelf, or I never ended up actually hauling it. So either way, got that one. Uh, True Light by Terry Blackstock. Vanished by Irene Hannon. Ooh, that one's got a cool finish on it too. I'm easily entertained. Strike, you guys see? I just, I, I like, I like old stuff. Um, Strike the Original Match, Rekindling and Preserving Your Marriage, Fire by Char Charles Swindoll. I like Charles Swindoll. And um, it's a Christian nonfiction marriage book, so there it is. Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. I feel like I've heard of this one somewhat on booktube, so I snagged it up. This one, funnily enough, uh, I had just put it on my Goodreads TBR shelf um, a few days before I went to the thrift store and I saw this. So, None Like Him by Jen Wilkin. Ten Ways God is Different from Us and Why That's a Good Thing. So, uh... Jen Wilkin. I read one of her other books that like seems like the whole world loves that book and I did not like it. Um, but maybe that one will be good. Speak by Lori, Lori Halsey Anderson. I feel like I see this one at the thrift store all the time. So yeah, grabbed it. This one, The Spiritual World of the Hobbit by James Stuart Bell. I mean, it's about the Hobbit. Of course I'm gonna get it. I love the Hobbit. And then I've got two um, vintage ones, Anne of Avonlea, so I mean, that's awesome. That's a collector, I feel like. And then Little Lord Fauntleroy. I feel like I heard someone somewhat recently mention this book, and it's in this beautiful uh, hardback edition, and I have a couple other ones in this style, so. I'll add that one. Oh, Frances Hodgson Burnett uh, is the author of A Little Princess, which I read, didn't love, but it was fine. Um, this one, The Story of Holly and Ivy, I mean, it has my name on it. It's old and vintage. And is it Christmassy? Ooh, I like the art. 1967. Oh, yeah, it is Christmassy. So read that around Christmas. Okay, there's a bunch of middle grade here. The War That Saved My Life by Kimberly Brew Breaker Bradley. This one I've heard a lot from, I believe, Amanda, I think. But I've heard from other people talk about this one too and love it. Now, I don't like books that take place around war, in war, anything to do with war but because this was a huge sale day and I can just put it in my CF book cell if I don't want to read it um, but yeah got that one Horton Half Point or The Fiendish Mystery of the Sm Smugwick Manor or The Loosening of Milady Luggertuck's Corset by Tom Engelberger I mean if your title is that funny, it's gotta be. It's gotta be worth uh, worth a try, right? Yeah, so it's just a little middle grade. Uh, no idea what it's about, but I liked, I like the way that the author did that title. Um, Esperanza Rising, I heard, was it Amanda again? I can't remember. Someone was really liking this book as well on booktube, so Pam Munoz Ryan. 
I really don't know what it's about. What else have we got? Uh, Nightmares by Jason Siegel, Kirsten Miller. Uh, just kind of drew my eye and the, the art on the back is kind of cute looking. Uh, I'm gonna give it a try because it was kind of a cover buy, but you know, you know how it goes. Um, this is not a middle grade. The Driftwood Girls, Two Missing Women, An Ocean Full of Secrets by Mark Douglas Holm. I know nothing about this one. It does not say that it is specifically a Christian book. So I really don't know what I'm getting into with this one. Um, just the tagline, Two Missing Women, An Ocean Full of Secrets, made me interested. So I grabbed it. I've got the wit and wisdom of Discworld. So if you remember back in my March wrap up, I was reading Going Postal by Terry Pratchett and um, I was really enjoying it. And that book is part of his Discworld series, which I don't really know what it is yet. So. I'm kind of on the lookout for other Terry Pratchett from the Discworld because I'd like to try more of it. And when I saw this, it was kind of a no-brainer. And then I've got The Tale of Despero. This one is very popular. I've never read it, but I know that it was a thing for, I think, I think even in schools. Did some kids read this in school? I didn't. But anyway, there's that. I've got a Michelle from Full House, my two best friends, um, for my childhood reads uh, that I do every May. I loved Full House and I love and still love Mary Kate Ashley, so, you know. And then I know Chantel's daughter Reka really loves this book, Picture of Hollis Woods by Patricia Riley Giff, so I figured I would give it a try. I don't know anything about it. But Hollis is close to my name, so there's half a point there. Jacob Tutu and the Dinosaur. I mean, I distinctly remember this cover. Um, it's got one of those little library pockets. So when I saw, so when I saw it at the thrift store, I mean, I had to grab it. Of course, I've got Trapped Beneath the Ice by Ted Peterson. It's just a kid's mystery. Um, Churchill in Memoriam, his life, his death, his wit and wisdom, written and edited by the staff of the New York Times. I really don't know much about Winston Churchill at all. Like at all. So I don't know if he was a good guy, bad guy, what? I don't know. So looking forward to that for sure. I found another copy of Pilgrim's Progress. So winning there. Uh, Susan Sand Mystery Stories, The Password to Diamond Dwarf Dale. I don't know, something about this just was like, yeah, I'm interested. Melissa by Eva Gibson. Some of these old vintage copies that have like one name titles, like I don't know what, but I'm drawn to it. Cards on the Table by Agatha Christie. I love finding the the vintage Agatha Christie book, so this one's cool. 95 cents. Um, the Young Unicorns by Madeline Langle. Uh, she wrote Wrinkle in Time, which I read last year for the first time ever. Um, I mean, it was fine. I didn't love it, but it was fine. So I guess try this one. I I got the kids at Campfire book because. Um, my honey likes to sit at the fire uh, and just sit there <laughs> and he doesn't like it like not necessarily like it when I go on like my phone when we're at the fire he wants to like be with me so so I thought there might be some like fun word games also one year um, I heard the campsite next to us they were doing like a word game story game around the fire and it sounded interesting but I'd never heard of it before, so I don't know. Maybe there's some fun stuff in here. Maybe there's not. Who knows? 
And then there was uh, fill a bag for whatever, a couple dollars. And then I had a little bit of room left in the bag, so I picked this big guy up. Um, I picked it up for art reference so that I can like draw faces a little. So I have a reference to draw faces is, is what I'm trying to say. So that's why I picked this one up. That's really it. <laughs> Then I have two birthday gifts that I got from my friends. So I got A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray from Chantel, and I've never read any Libba Bray before. So that will be a first for me. And then I got Book Nerd by Holly McGuire from my friend Becca. And this book, like look at this book, it's just so cute. It's just about bookish things. I can't wait to go through it. And then I've got a small stack of kids' books, picture books. I remember Leo Leone from my childhood, so I got Frederick and the color of his own. And then Good Morning Sunshine, I've been picking up um, kids' poetry and short story books. So I got that one. Um, Just Me and My Mom by Mercer Mayer. Very reminiscent of my childhood. And then these next four, I, I don't know anything about these. I never read them before, but they caught my eye. So Alligator Pie, so this is poems as well, um, kid poems. So I'm very excited to read that. I love kid poems, they're so much fun. Jelly Belly by Dennis Lee. Like, I, this art style is so detailed, but so interesting. I need to read that one. We've got Garbage Delight. More kids poetry. Like, oh, I just love these kinds of books. I really love them. And then the last one I picked up mostly because of the art style is incredible. King Bid Bidgoods in the Bathtub. Like, look at this art style. This is amazing, gorgeous. Look at that. I love it. I love it. So I picked that one up because it's beautiful. So that is my book haul. Thank you guys so much for watching another long one. Um, let me know if you've read any of these, if you recommend or don't recommend any of them, whatever. Just let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Um, yeah, have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I don't like stickers on book covers. Why do people do that? <laughs>